right now we're at atmospheric pressure. See he's got, and as you can see, it's climbing down rapidly. Let's see how fast we can pull this thing down into, I mean, shoot, 6,000 microns. It's been literally less than 30 seconds. I've got my dual hose set up on now, so yeah, it made a big difference. So this is the way to do it. I mean, you want to, if you want to pull down deep, fast vacuums, just get you the Appian, pull out your straighter cores, and you'll be good to go. I'm already at 550 microns in less than a minute. Probably about a minute, just that a minute. So I didn't even have any time to go do, you know, close the thing up or anything. It's just solid. Let's do our decay test real quick. Let's see how it decays. Once it starts going backwards, you know we're good. I want to just go ahead and pull a deeper vacuum. And just pull it down to about 200 microns. And let that run the whole time. And we're getting 60 microns. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, door and everything back on. All right, so we've got the whole evaporator coil side of the system down to 160 microns. What we're gonna do now. Check out and see how it decays. It's gonna jump up a little bit. But it should start coming back down. We don't want this to go above, let's say, um, 510 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes. We're only at 390 microns. So. 
hold it down to 160. And we're at 390 rock solid. Beautiful. Now what we're gonna do, go ahead and release the charge. Good. Very, very good. Nothing better than a nice solid vacuum. What we're gonna do here. Take our hoses off. I'm just going to go ahead and run it and get everything up to spec. Okay, let's get our gauges on it and get her fired up. Sub cooling dialed in. We are good to go. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm um, almost got it dialed into my sub cooling. Other than that, system's running like new. It's been running for at least a good 15 minutes now. So that definitely did it. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.